Every business begins with an idea and someone who believes in it enough to take a risk, an entrepreneur. And one of the most highly regarded entrepreneurs in Milwaukee is Jalem Getz, who got his start selling fish ties from a temporary card in Mayfair Mall. Getz's latest firm is an internet-based retailer called Wantable. So Wantable is a matchmaker of products and people. So in the new Web 2.0 world of e-commerce, customers come to our website and instead of being just browsing the site looking for items, they take a survey, answer a series of questions. And based on those answers, uh, we then handpick items or use algorithms in our system to pick items that we feel that they will like. Uh, so we're kind of the match.com for products. Charlie Hillman is an MIT-educated engineer who has started three different companies. His current venture, Grand Care Systems, has developed innovative software to help the elderly continue to live independently rather than go into nursing homes. So Grand Care is a communication system that communication, cognition, medication, compliance, and activity of daily living monitoring system. Well, the system is for uh, keeping seniors independent, happier, healthier in their homes. At the same time, it does monitoring, telehealth monitoring, their blood pressure, weight, activity monitoring, making sure they don't walk out of the house in the middle of the night. Before they started businesses in Wisconsin, both Hillman and Getz lived in California. So I was not born in Wisconsin, I was born in Northern California. Uh, moved here literally a lifetime ago, moved here uh, 20 years ago uh, for an engineering job. Uh, worked for them for a couple of years uh, in engineering capacity and then decided to start my first company, Halloween Express, or GMI, which owns Halloween Express with my business partner, John Madoff. We were at, living in California at the time. I was working in Silicon Valley. We felt uh, the need to uh, to come back to, to something we were more familiar with, uh, the Midwest, and, and the way the Midwesterners uh, act. And, and, and it was just sort of the, the feel of the Midwest. And plus, we wanted our children to know their grandparents. And it doesn't really matter, uh, once you get into cyberspace, where you are. Hillman values the balance and control that business ownership provides. Well, I think uh, what got me interested in going into business for myself, uh, this was uh, Gaitha and me, was a couple things. Number one, we, we wanted to better uh, balance our professional and business lives. Also, we wanted to control our own destiny and, and, uh, and, and really reap the fruits of, of, our, of our efforts. Getz is fascinated by the whole process of starting and growing a company. In one of his ventures, By Seasons, grew over a decade into a firm with hundreds of permanent employees and more than a thousand seasonal workers. Getz left By Seasons in 2010. I think that being an entrepreneur was something that's always been, you know, uh, something that has fascinated me and interested in me. Uh, people ask if I have hobbies, and I don't really have hobbies. I, my hobby is enjoying, you know, watching businesses evolve and grow and take shape and, um, you know, creating something from nothing with a good team. For me, a company like uh, Buy Seasons, or frankly for that matter, uh, Wantable, uh, why they're in so, so important to the community is because of, you know, the job creation. And not only the job creation, but the opportunity for employees to move up in their careers within an organization. Wantable was started, launched just seven months ago. And today we now have 14 people that either work full-time or part-time for the organization. And then if Wantable follows the same path as by seasons, we will have 500 employees in 10 years. Entrepreneurs face an array of issues access to capital, of course, but also the emotional challenges of venturing out on your own. Big problems, or it's not a problem, it's a challenge to us here in, 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 in Wisconsin, is that the banking system and the investment people have to start understanding what assets are. They have a very hard time understanding the notion of intellectual property as an asset. They have to get to the point where they can value a high-tech uh, business. Fear is a big challenge. Uh, so if the individual, in the case of John and I, we just, this is just something that we felt that we could do and wanted to do, and we were much more tuned in to the opportunity than the risk. I came from an entrepreneurial family, frankly, as did John. So having that support network around us, I think, was very helpful in the beginning for us. It can be an emotional challenge to decide to move on from a, uh, a business idea, especially when you or your employees put in so much work burning the midnight oil to get something together and you see that spark, that opportunity for success. But ultimately it comes down to you know, the key principles. Are you serving your customer? Are you creating value? Are you doing something in a way or creating a product that someone else isn't doing currently? Um, 
And you know, that's what we have today at Wantable, that's what we had at uh, GMI, and that's what we had at By Seasons. And because you have those ingredients for success, you know, you can create a market.